Do I look like Al Pacino here? is Phil Grice and since 1970 I have professionally been a director of photography beginning in Los Angeles and since 1978 working as a DP in New York. I have uh, primarily shot documentaries but have limited experience with um, low budget features and I've shot commercials and currently continue to do um, Behind the Scenes for HBO, Sopranos, uh, Sex in the City in the past, Oz, and other uh, programming for HBO. I've always preferred documentary to other genres of motion picture photography. I like people. I like to be able to work with real situations. I like to also manipulate certain situations in order to make some profound statement based on reality. I totally enjoy the challenge of uh, the unknown, and the unknown usually comes when something is not scripted. What made me become a director of photography? I always love to um, watch films. And I, at a young age, decided I would like to make films. So I started um, with an 8 millimeter movie camera, and um, I've been doing it ever since. It's just something that nurtures me. I, I really enjoy being behind the camera. I love composition. I love lighting. I love to be able to capture a moment that uh, is kind of universally um, expressed and could be identified by others. One of my greatest achievements is uh, doing this interview. <laughs> uh, I think some of the greatest achievements have been uh, working with um, people I respect. Um, I did a series with Bill Moyers a number of years ago, World of Ideas. That was a pretty um, nurturing assignment. Uh, we did 12 shows together. In 1983, I worked on the first front lines, and uh, the second front line, 88 Seconds in Greensboro, about uh, the Ku Klux Klan. That uh, was the furry first front line, which um, was nominated for a national Emmy. And uh, more recently, um, a national Emmy documentary, which I shot in the Netherlands, called The Mere Master of Light, was. Um, a highlight for me. I think if, if, if the reason why we get into this profession is because we want to make a lot of money and because we want to be famous, it's the wrong reason to enter this profession, or for that matter, any profession. Uh, we do it because we love what we do. The joy of self-accomplishment is doing something well done and being able to be creative and expressing myself so that I can um, give to others uh, a similar vision that I have within myself. It's a wonderful feeling. It's the highest of the highs. It's better than any uh, other kind of feeling that I can think of. It's, it's, it's a natural high following your own love.